What's going on, man? It's your big bro train. You tuned in again to another divine video. I'm gonna need you to listen to everything I'm about to tell you in this video because I know I ain't the only one that's feeling this. All right. Um, so I was just now sitting down having a conversation with God, you know, asking questions and stuff like that. And um, after I got through talking to God, God told me, He said, He said, Bring the old, he said, bring the bring the good old days back, Trent. He said, bring the good times back. And I just thought about that. I'm like, well, what that mean? Um, if you are only if you are old soul, you will understand what I'm about to say in this video. Okay. This this video, this video, some people might catch my drift, but if you a real true old soul, then you will kind of understand where I'm coming from. All right. Uh, I don't know about you. Maybe you maybe you were in the same situation as me growing up, but for the most part, man, I was raised by my grandma my grandmother and my great grandmother. You feel me? And I was raised by my like my older uncles and my older aunts. You know what I'm saying? I was always raised by older people. Like not 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 my not necessarily my mom and daddy most of the time, but literally I would I would tell my mama or my daddy to take me to ex to such and such house so I can go kick it with Uncle Who or Auntie Who or Grandma, you know what I mean? I hung around my grandma a lot. You feel me? We used to sit in the we used to sit in the in her bedroom and watch movies all day. Like like my grandma and I'm I'm only telling y'all my story a little bit because I know some of y'all got the same stories, okay? So I'm not I'm not putting myself a bragging. I'm just telling y'all a little bit about me. But um like I said, I used to go to my grandma's house, man. And um I used to just the only reason why I wanted to go to my grandma's house was because she had a whole collection of movies that I was curious to to watch, and she had those old Western movies, those old Indian movies. She had a lot of this is back when the VC the VHS cassette tapes was around, and I was just curious to know what the old, what let me watch every movie I can watch. You feel me, old soul? And my grandma also had like bookshelves of books. And I remember I was like young. I was just going in there, just, you know what I mean? I was just going there looking at books that she had, novels, science fiction books. And I'm just like, hey, you know what I mean? I'm like, why my mama don't got this in her house? And this is her daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, like, I grew up around a lot of old souls, bro. But I didn't understand why I was growing up around these older people. But I, I know now it's because I got an old soul. You feel me? So, um... If you're watching this video and you got an old soul, I'm pretty sure you you can understand. But um, the world we live in nowadays, y'all, I'm telling y'all, the world we live in nowadays, it is, I'm not with this brand new stuff, man. I mean, I know things evolve over time and time changes. I get it. I totally understand it. But I'm not, I don't agree with everything that's going on in our society today. You know what I mean? Um, especially like, uh, I mean, I, I've, I've never, ever thought in my whole life that I would exceed gender wars. Like, you feel me? It We got, it's so bad out here, you know, as far as like socialization goes. Socialization has become so dumbed down that you literally have a group of men and a group of women who don't even know how to holler at each other or <laughs> who don't even know how to ask each other out. It is like people have become so brainwashed, you know, and so desensitized that we literally are seeing gender wars. Like where in the heck did this come from? You know what I mean? As a man, personally, I've never, personally, I'm much of a, I'm more of a Sigma male, but a lot of people sometimes think I'm an alpha, but I'm not. Okay. But I'm a Sigma male, but I've never in my life ever had a problem getting women. You feel me? Even though you might hear me say little things, I'm a man. So I'm going to say certain things every now and again about like what I disagree with and what I, what I, what I agree with when it comes to women. I personally have never had a problem with getting women. I actually love women. A little too much, honestly, if you really want me to tell the truth. And I cannot believe some of the stuff that I'm seeing on the internet, on the on, on social media about these. I'm seeing interviews and podcasts of girls talking about men and men talking about it just like, God, man, how what are they they lost me, bro. They they lost me. They lost me because I ain't never I ain't never even had that problem. 
You feel me? But it's it the society that we live in nowadays, everybody's just so desensitized, man. Like they I know y'all probably asking, oh my god, Trin, are you married? Don't you know we live in a society nowadays that shuns marriage? Okay? I'm telling y'all, man, this, it has become so perverse out here and so out of alignment of the natural way that God wanted to be that if you say anything about marriage or if you even wearing a ring, it is like some big old, it's, it's like some big fancy idea now. It's like, it, it, it's like, oh my God, really you, Trent? I thought you was getting married, Trent. Like, it's like such a big idea for people to actually witness or notice somebody's about to get married. That's how bad it is. That's how so much out of order society has to become because everybody has become cold-hearted. Some, some, some people are so cold-hearted and so closed off from everybody and everything that it's like people don't even believe in marriages no more, dog. They don't even believe in a family structure no more. People don't even believe in the power of having one woman or one man. Listen, man, don't let this new world fool, this new this new stuff out here fool y'all, man. Don't let this stuff fool y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's good to be by yourself and it's good to be independent. Yes, I get it. If you need to heal and work on yourself, just like I've been by myself. You know, I've been dating from time to time, but most of the most part, I'll be by myself. But the only reason why I've been by myself is because I know if I get in another relationship with anybody, it probably wouldn't have never worked out right because I need to fix myself first. So that's why I've been by myself. You know what I'm saying? Because... Uh, I've been practicing, you know, uh, things that I need to work on. You feel me? And, you know, a lot of people that know me personally, they say, yeah, 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 he right. He he do, he do, he have dating, you know, big trend, big big bro trend have been dating and stuff. But, you know, hey, I might have not been perfect for them or the person for them. But somebody, whoever, whoever I meet in my latter day, whoever I meet in the future from now is going to get the best of me because you feel me? I believe in marriage. I be, I still believe in marriage. I don't care what nobody out here say. I don't care. I hear y'all talking about I'm independent. I hear all the girls talking about I'm a boss status girl and I'm by myself. I'm doing this on my own. I, listen, bro. I still believe in marriage because even the marriage that I used to have, it was some of the best moments of my life. I didn't know that at the time, but they were some of the best moments of my life. And I believe that you don't need a whole lot of women. You don't need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen girls, bro, in order to feel like a man. I only believe you only need one woman. You'll save a lot of money, and and she's all you need. Sex is not the world, y'all. Like it's so much ways to get happiness in the world. That we have been programmed to believe that it's all about sex. Now we we have programmed to believe that our the determining factor of our happiness is relationships, status, money. It's so much more to life than just money, man. You feel me? I've had I don't know about you, but I've had some of the best moments of my life around people that don't got money, and me neither. We've come up with ways to have fun, dog. You feel me? And 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 I just would say I don't, I I think that America is under a huge spell. I think that America is up under a illusion, up under a spell. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because this world, the the the, the America, the Western world that we know it, it is so super fugazi and fake now. Like you, it's like fake is the new real, and real is the new. Faith. You know what I mean? Like if you're a real person, you will have people scared of you. If you if you if you speak your voice, people don't want to talk to you. Uh if you speak truth, people don't call you. They don't want to communicate with you. They don't message you. Nothing like that. Because you just might be too real. You feel me? Real people is hard to come by nowadays. Like real genuine people that'll talk to you and they'll try to figure and solve problems with you and stuff like that. It is hard to come by nowadays because Everybody is living like in a survival state mindset where it's like, if I don't get what I want, I'm gone. You know what I mean? That's the world we live in nowadays. It's like the Hunger Games or something. It's like everybody's trying to work and get the money, get the money, get the money. And that's why I say America's up under the spell because this place is run by fascism. This place is run by feminism. This place is run by capitalism. 
okay? This place is run by basically individualism. People, it's like be independent, worry about you, don't care about nobody else and get your check and run your money up. Now, how are you supposed to become very successful if you don't have friends, if you don't have people around you to help you do it? How, how does that work? Ladies, how do you become a successful lady if you don't have women friends that will help you build your success? Okay, like it, it is it just it's ridiculous that every chick that I come across, I swear it's like 90 fellas, vouch for me in the comment section because I know y'all done heard this a thousand times too. I swear, every chick that I come across, damn near 98% of women don't have no girlfriends or friend girls. They number one slogan or the number one word, the number one thing is I hang around men. I have more men friends. I can get along with men. I can relate to guys better. I mean, honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you. You sound like a hoe. Okay. Any guy that you say that to in the back of his mind, he's going to think you cool because he with you at that moment. But in the back of his mind, he already char character characterizing you and stereotyping you as a thought. You a hoe. Because you only hang around the Johnson. You only hang around the Johnsons. You feel me? And and it's, it's it's really actually ridiculous that you know it's 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 really ridiculous that that y'all ladies out there y'all can't be woman enough to even motivate or edge or elevate each other, but y'all come to watch men talk and give lectures. I don't really understand that concept. But you don't want to. You don't want to be with a man. You don't want to be with a man because you want to be by yourself and you want to do things on your own. So is it that you are adopting the mindset of men by listening to men's teachings? All these men, 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 men. I listen to Trent. I listen to him. I listen to him. I listen to my boy Big Ward. I listen to him. Da, da, da. Is it is it the fact that you're adopting men mentalities and then you're taking it into the real world and saying that this is who I am? That's not really who you are. You're doing that because you don't have any women friends. You don't have feminine friends around you that you can relate to because, again, America is up under a spell. Everybody's in competition with each other. Nobody gets a fair shot anymore if it becoming your friend no more because they're going to critique you before they do it. You know? And like I said, that's... Like I said, I'm still, I'm an old soul. I'm still that guy. Like, don't like, I'm, I'm like, you know, one thing I can't understand y'all. And I'm pretty sure you get, you can't understand this shit either. But one thing I can't understand is like, you know how, when you call phone, when you call companies nowadays to, to pay a damn car rent car note, or you call the damn rent office that you, where you stay at or something, or, you know, you, you call the DoorDash driver to deliver your, deliver your food. You, you know, they got these automated systems now where it's like, for that, if you want, if you want to get faster, press one, and then and, and you go, and then you press one, and it be like, oh, okay, it's a mistake. I did. Can you repeat that? Do it again. Press or just say yes. And you're like yes, and then the motherfucking voicemail thing don't understand you and stuff like that. Just to get in contact with somebody, this is the shit you got to go through now just to talk to somebody. You see what I'm saying, bro? It is like we are so disconnected in America. We are so disconnected as human beings. It's not even funny no more. It's actually sad. It's sad that we have to do all of that to just talk to one person, dog. All I want to do is talk to the customer service. Well, we need, you know, the, you know the thing. It always, it always say, it always say. Well, please tell me exactly what you're calling for, so I can get the right customer service personnel. Y'all all work for the same damn company. What? Why should it be a certain person? The damn whoever you transfer me to gonna be sitting right next to you. Why well, I gotta be a certain per certain topic first? And like I say, this is the this is what our world has come to. It's like you gotta go through all these different loops and these different holes and stuff just to do something so simple. We can't. No people don't even talk no more because it's that complicated to talk. People want to book book meetings and stuff with me. They be sending me. People be companies be trying to do me uh promote, you know, get me get me to promote their stuff and so that you know I can make commissions and stuff. Man, half of these companies, I don't even be feel like doing no stuff with them. You know why? Cause they got, oh, you 
Go to Google Meets and, and mark this day on the calendar and, and mark this time right here. And then I'm going to send you this and then it sends you an email after you book the date and the time. Like there's some special per president or something. Like you talking to somebody that work in the damn White House or something. And then when they, then the day that you finally get, got to call the person that you're meeting with and send you an email and be like, you, you got 30 more minutes before this important call is is coming and oh my god it ain't nothing but a 30 minute call with somebody that's a normal human being it's stupid it is it's freaking stupid when all they gotta do is just call on tyrone just call me this is how complicated and how like i told you bro america is up on the spell this is how dumb down society has become a society has become dumbed down, brainwashed, and programmed to NPCs, okay, and, and LOLs, and OMGs. That's another one of my pet peeves, too. When people be sending me, you got grown-ass adults, right? You got grown adults. I had to tell this uh, person the other day, stop sending me Stop sending me emojis, man. This, you're, 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 I wanted to say this to this person, but I didn't. I just said, please, don't send me emojis. You got grown adults sending emojis with the crying faces. <laughs> y'all know the little tears that be coming out the eyes on that one little y'all little face emoji. Y'all can't stand that emoji. They be sitting there crying baby face. Like, <laughs> like you bot. You bot. You little you you still using emojis, a whole chain of emojis to describe one sentence. <laughs> Bro. They using all this stuff to dumb down people. That's why the keyboard got all. That's why when you open your keyboard and it got all these symbols, cause they don't want nobody to talk. Duh. They don't want you to talk. They want you to. They want to make you so dumb and so stupid that if they, if, if if you think about, if you say, if you say something like, you tell your friend like, yeah, my lights just went out. They don't want you to text them. My lights just went out. They want you to send a light bulb and then they say it went out. That's what they want you to do. They don't want you to be happy and express that you're excited and use an exclamation mark and quotation marks to express your happiness when you're talking to somebody through text. They want to give you smiley faces like, I'm happy. And you ain't even really happy in, in, behind that phone. You just, you got a straight face and you looking like texting and you send a little smiley face and you ain't even really smiling. This is how they want people dumb down and stupid like this. But see, it ain't but so many ch chosen people. It, this is why they want people to be like this. This is why I say America's up under a spell, dog. It's up under a spell. And this is why I got this. That's why I got this, bro, because we have been lied to. We have been told that this is the only place where you can find happiness and you can live this, this facade, what they call an American dream, all to grow up. Listen, all to grow up. And now we finally actually realize what it really is. That wasn't the American dream that they taught us when we was kids, bro. That was a... They sold us a wolf ticket, bro. It was... Bull crap. It wasn't really what it really is. The American dream is not what it really is. When you actually, you and you probably just like me, you grow up, was raised by good parents. You was you was raised by good uh, elders and stuff like that. And you went to church or whatever the case may be. All to grow up and you still be good to find that so many people hate you just because you're doing good. I thought me being a motivational speaker and inspiring people would actually make my life better. It made my life worse. Don't you know people don't like me and I'm not crying. I'm not playing a victim. I'm just telling y'all some real shit. Don't you know people don't like me simply because I inspire people, dog? That's the saddest you can go. That's the lowest vibration you can be in. I got people that I know personally. They don't even want to talk to me or associate with me because they know trend motivates people. How the heck can you not associate you with yourself with somebody who motivates people? You feel me? You. This is how sad it's become, bro. America is up under a brainwashed spell, bro. And like I say, they did this shit with the whole fake flu thing that they had going around. That's why they said. That's why they told you it was all a setup. Y'all don't know this stuff, man. Come on, bro. Even I knew it was a joke from the day one, bro. They made people cover their mouth up because they don't want you to talk to nobody. It's them against us. They make they put tape 
they put tape in the store and told you stand away from that person. Don't get to the don't get close to that person. Stay stay X amount of feet away from that person. And y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all stay away from that person. No, no, no. We're gonna put a glass thing up so we're gonna separate you from the person because you don't want him to give you the cooties. And, and we're gonna put a fiberglass up right there. We don't even get a cooties and get a cooties to him and get a cooties to him. And I want y'all to put a little man, a muzzle on y'all mouth because we don't want y'all to get nothing and catch nothing. Bro, that joke was all a program from day one. Because they don't want nobody. I don't know who they is. They is somebody. But they don't want nobody to be connected. And don't you know, it's still people like that today. You still got people walking. In, you got people running on the treadmill at the gym with masks on. How the heck are you in the gym with a mask on working out? This is how they got people brainwashed, bro. They got people in the Western in the Western society so brainwashed that it's bad. I mean, it, it is really, it is really, really bad. Like they got people in the Western society that is so brainwashed that if you're doing good in your life, people nowadays won't like you because you're actually doing right. You're doing the right thing. You will have people sneering up at you and wanting to lash out at you because you're actually stable. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're a guy and you pay your rent, you pay your bills and you handle your business and you make your your coins, girls will be mad at you, dog, because you ain't spending it on her. Versus her actually taking what she makes and coming to you and saying, "Hey, we can can we put this together?" Can we put our can we put our stuff together? I got this type of I got this amount of stuff. This is what this is why I'm wearing this ring right now because I'm manifesting my shit. Okay, I I still believe in this shit, man. I still believe in powerful because it's two is always better than one, y'all. God said if it's two is in my name, bro, I'm in the midst of them two. But when it's one, bro, you shiver at night. Remember that you shiver at night. You you can't sleep at night when it's one. But when it's two, bro, God is in the midst of both of them. So I'm still keeping this shit rolling. I'm keeping the old times rolling. I don't know what y'all believe in. Y'all can go in this new stuff y'all want. I'm still traditional. I'm traditional. I'm old school, dog. I still wash my dishes in my sink like my mama taught me to. You feel me? I still go get the joy. I still go get the joy detergent, the yellow version, the yellow scent, lemon. And I still wash my dishes even though I got a dishwasher. <laughs> I still, well, I used to, I, I used to still wash my car by hand and vacuum out my flow with the damn vacuum by hand until my daddy called me and told me one day, God, this is when I had my SRT. Uh, he was like, bro, you can't be washing your car like that no more in public, Trent. You People know you. I'm like, really? Man, people know me? He's like, yeah, bro, you ain't the same no more, boy. I'm like... I don't even think like that, though. I don't even think like with status. I don't even see. This is that new stuff, people. When people got status now, they got a little silver YouTube button. They got a little blue Instagram check mark. They got a little check mark here. Bro, they'll start treating you some kind of way because they think they way up here when they really just a human being, too. They can get, got, got, get, too, just like everybody else. But they want to make you feel like they better than you. Bro, don't you know I got people... That I reach out to because I'm a real person. I'm real, bro. I don't. You will never know that I do my profession until I tell you that this is what I do for a living. But when I'm in real life, bro, you would think I'm just a down to earth, humble dude because I don't even care about status. I don't care about diamonds. I don't care about money. I don't care about the same material worldly stuff that everybody else cares about. And I try to, and I be so normal, dog. Until somebody asks me, "What do you do for a living?" Be like, what is, and that's like I said, that's what this world has come to. It's like, what do you do for a living? Where do you work? What do you drive? Um, where do you stay? What kind of neighborhood you stay in? Uh, uh, how long have you been working there? How, how many people have you slept with? This, everything has become so superficial that you can't even really be cool no more. Not unless you give people the right story. Not unless you tell them the right story. And then if you do tell them something they want to hear, they're going to still go to your page, go through your pictures, Look up your dates and took the picture. Look at your story. Try to analyze what you're talking about and stuff. Oh, I don't like them anymore. Why? Because you just looked at my whole Facebook profile and that was your judgment of me. And you don't even know me in real life. You don't even talk. You ain't even came and talked to me about anything that you feeling. But you went back and told somebody else that don't even know me about me. This is the Decepticon shit, man. Nowadays, people can hate you. 
and they don't even have to know you. But just because they know that you got some status or they heard through the grapevine you got some money or something like that, then it's like automatic. Like, I don't like her. Girls, I know y'all deal with a lot. I don't, I don't like her. Why? Because her, be, why? Because her weave is more brand new than your shit? You got girls out here having weave wars. It's sad. Soon as you walk in a room as a woman, a girl look up, you look you up and down and be like, I don't like her. Like, how dumb can you be to not like somebody just for no reason at all, bro? You ain't even never went up to her, talk to her, see what she, who she is. You ain't never feel her energy. You just looking everything off of what she looked like and you comparing it to yourself. And that is your determining fact. If you look better than her, you would have liked her. If you look better than her. But if she looked better than you that night or you thought in your mind and perceived that she looks better than you and, or you perceive that she thinks she's better.